Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about linked list versus array in JavaScript, particularly why a JavaScript uh, developer needs an array or a linked list and the difference between the two. Um, I plan to annotate the difference um, in memory. So how an array is stored in memory, uh, your computer's memory, my computer's memory, and a linked list. And really uh, the main advantage, just one at least, of each versus each. So why would you choose a linked list um, rather than an, uh, than an array? Um, I hope you 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 will stay and uh, gain something from the video. Um, I sure will. I sure will. Um, all right. So let's dive into it. Now, why linked list or an array? Why would you need a linked list or an array? Let me demonstrate this. So I just opened up a, an IDE, a Visual Studio, and I am going to define five variables um, as an individual variables and then as an array. And then we will see why. Um, even without me really saying anything about that, you probably will figure that out. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, for now, I'll use an array. An array is a list. Um, so, so a linked list. All right. So I'm going to define, let's say, constant A equals to 1, constant B equals to 2. What I can do is I can copy and paste. Just uh, So control C and then control V. We can paste. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, um, like that, and you can just do Control V V. Once you have, once you copy, um, once you have the first copy, I change the variables. So I have five variables. Not yet. I'm gonna just change them. So now I have five variables A to E, each holding an integer, a number. Now I'm going to define an array that has the above integers, one to five. So in essence, why do you need a list like an array? Because it really simplifies, and uh, it really simplifies um, our work as developers. It makes um, it makes using variables really a lot easier, and this is why. I can either use if I need this one to these numbers one to five. I can either use them like this, or I can use it like this. If I use an array, I only need one variable. Or like this, where I have five individual variables. What about if I need like um, 100 numbers, like one to 100? Using this method, I have to have 100 variables. That is really hard to remember, really hard. But with an array, I just have to remember one variable. And if I need any of the numbers within the array, well, I know how to get it. So for example, if I need any of the numbers, I will say my array, let's say I need the second number. I'll put one here. The reason it's one is because so let's say I want to get this two. I want to use this two, okay? Um, the reason is one is because array uh, 
array indexing starts from zero. So this is zero, one, two, three, four. So if I need to get this two uh, is in index one. So that's all I need to do to get this two. Well, using this method above, if I need to get the two, well, I just need to remember my B, right? That's all I need to remember. Like I said, what about if you have like a thousand? That means you really need to remember a lot of variables. But array and linked list makes it a lot easier. You have one variable, then you can store as much as you want, as much as your memory can allows you, right? The space on your computer. So that is the reason why we need like list makes our developer experience a lot better. Um, all right, so I'm gonna stop this video here and in the next video, let's see what we need to talk about. I will talk about um, this, the difference between the two within your computer memory. So what happens if you have two lists? One is a linked list and one is an array. What are their difference? And then how do they get stored in memory? Because if you understand how to get stored in memory, then really you have the mental model of the difference between the two. And that is really the key here. So, all right, I will see you in the next video.